Hi, my name is Lee, Lee Gertis. I'm founder and CEO of Brain State Technologies. We're located in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we have offices in 12 countries around the world, uh, over 100 plus offices now. We do brain state conditioning, which is a process to balance and harmonize brainwave patterns. I know that may sound a little technical to you, but it uh, pertains directly to your experience of life. In simplest terms, brain state conditioning is showing the brain itself. If you can think of seeing yourself in the mirror in order to perform a function, such as putting on your makeup or shaving, um, the image that you see in the mirror allows you to exactly see where it is that you're functioning uh, on your face, let's say. And when we show the brain itself, when we present a mirror for the brain to see itself, the same exact thing happens. It sees itself and from that image, from that self-observation, it can function more appropriately. It can reach a balance or, and effectively, can attain a homeostasis. Well, the first step is to place electrodes on the scalp in the assessment process. And those electrodes have a view of the brain and they record that view. And the view of the brain is made in various steps or stages or states of the brain. It's made by uh, looking at the brain when it's rested or resting and relaxed with one's eyes closed, with the eyes partially open, and then again with the eyes fully open and at a task, performing a task that should activate the lobes of the brain that we're looking at at that particular time. Following the assessment, the computer takes all of this data, which the data amounts to um, actually millions of bits of information, and processes these uh, to find and, and hone a specific set of protocol that would be most applied um, to an individual to attain the balance and harmony for that individual. Each brain is different. The balance and harmony for each brain is actually different. It is different as fingerprints, and nobody's fingerprints are the same. Brain functions are much more different than fingerprints, actually. But what we've done is we have set in place a set of mathematical algorithms to help us calculate for a particular brain how it can best be optimized or balanced and harmonized. After the protocol is chosen by the computer, the client sits again in a chair in a relatively passive way and electrodes, again electrodes which are placed on the scalp only to observe the brain and in this case observe the brain and synthesize or pass back the optimum performance in the lobes of the brain that are being looked at. The optimum performance are passed back to the client in uh, headphones or in sound and the brain picks that sound up it gravitates towards the direction of that clear picture of itself uh, of its optimized self and it moves in that direction to a state of balance and harmony my name is Francisco Estrada I was a corporal in the United States Marine Corps I served uh, I did three tours overseas in Iraq uh, in uh, many different cities in that country, uh, many different experiences. Um, because of those experiences I suffered uh, from night sweats, uh, flashbacks, I was verbally and emotionally abusive to my family and my friends. Um, and then my, uh, my father-in-law and my wife uh, suggested that I go through this program, uh, Brain State Conditioning, through Optimum Balancing with Sue Shipman. And this, at first I was very skeptical, but uh, I gave it a chance and I'm grateful that I did because it's helped me turn my life around. I'm not an angry person anymore. I don't have night sweats. I don't have flashbacks. I don't find myself driving defensively. I'm happy. My family is happy again. My friends are happy. Guys at work who have 
refer to me as a murderer for what I did for my country. I can remember a time when I would have attacked him. I would have hurt him severely. But because of everything that this program has done for me, uh, I didn't. I was able to laugh him off and continue on with my day. So I'm very thankful to Brain State Conditioning and Optimum Bouncing and very much so Sue Shipman. There are various symptoms that occur because of an imbalanced brain and an imbalance takes place for various reasons. Sometimes the reasons can include things in the environment, they can include accidents or traumatic events, they can include things like um, genetics and problems at birth or um, family problems or relationship problems. There are many possibilities for creating an imbalance and from those imbalances there are many symptomologies that actually occur. Depression, anxiety, um, irregular movements, tremors, um, lack of sleep, a lack of performance, lack of motivation. There are many symptoms that occur. Brain state conditioning does not delve into the reasons behind uh, an imbalance, nor does it delve into and is based on the symptoms of an imbalance. It only delves into the balance itself. And as we attain a balance in a brain for an individual, symptoms seem to be mitigated or are completely removed. But what's most important is the person that has a balanced brain is put back in control of their life and they are no longer driven by the symptom or they are no longer haunted by the reason behind the symptom appearing in, in the first place. They are put back into a position of, let's call it, deep relaxation or contented uh, endeavor, which is balanced and harmonized and which is optimum in its performance. My name is Paige. Sides. And Today is uh, November the 15th. No, I'm sorry, November the 16th, right, Paige? Uh huh. Um, how did you hear about us? Um, it was by my mom because. Yeah. Does your mom work here? Um, I'm. Or she as a great Okay. Um, why are you here? Um, to help my um, study um, and help it succeed and my and emotions and everything. Um, hi. <laughs> I've been here for, um, well, uh, well, a half a year. And I've been, um, We've been um, doing sessions. Um, they have helped me with my grades. I have A pluses all <laughs> this year. So thank goodness. Um, will have um, will help me with my friends. They have been just blown away. So that's my, my family and my 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 teachers have just been just complimenting me. That that it makes me feel so good. So yeah, my 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 whole life has been just. Woo. 
Eso ya. I want to talk to you about a demonstration that we performed by training inmates in a medium security prison in Nevada. You can find the results of that demonstration on our website. But what we found with those inmates was quite surprising. In the general population, we may find a differential in brain patterns between lobes of say 10%, sometimes 20, sometimes 40, 50, 60, 80%. We may find that kind of differential between lobes and people have various pathologies or symptoms because of that, that differential. But when we went to the Nevada prison and when we dealt before, three years before that even, uh, dealing with probationers, what we found was the differential was quite extensive. It was 100%, 500%, 800%. Sometimes it went as much as 1,500% difference. And so what I'm trying to advocate is that the behavior problems which led those people into um, an antisocial position, breaking the law and or threatening people and or hurting themselves, injuring people or others or themselves, what I'm trying to advocate is that that came about because of a dramatic brain imbalance. Now, the good news. When we trained prisoners in the medium security prison in Nevada, we were astonished that those brains responded immediately to that, the brain state conditioning process and became close to balance. And what were, what were, the, what were the results? Well, the results were that those inmates found that after three weeks, approximately on the average of 28 sessions each, they were able to read proficiently. They were able to sleep um, and, and attain regular sleep. None of them could sleep well. What we found is, is that no inmate that we trained have had any write-ups about a violence since training. All of the inmates had had violent outbreaks before training and those outbreaks had happened at least monthly and sometimes weekly, but none of the inmates have had any violent outbreaks since training. And as I mentioned, all of the inmates are now able to read proficiently, they're all going to school, and they're all finding a course in life which leads them, and we believe will lead them continually, to be a better and fully functional member of society and to be one that's happy. We advise that you would check our website, look for an office near you, you'll find other offices listed on the website, and then become a client in that office. Experience it. Find out how really good it is to optimize your own brain. And when you do that, you're probably going to be working with somebody that's optimized their brain, and that's how they began the process of being a licensed uh, um, provider for brain state conditioning in the world. We're proud of our licensees. They've come to us in many and various ways, but most of them have come either by, through them, by themselves doing brain state conditioning or having one of their loved ones do it and seeing the dramatic effects it had and positive changes it had in their life, putting them back in a position to help themselves and to help others. It's a good feeling.